guys, it is JQ Crafty. Welcome to my stop for the Off the Board with Pineapple Papers Hop, the last one of 2021. And I'm finally getting started on my boat album. I've decided that I am going to start documenting like all our boat adventures in Heidi Swap's Storytellers like books. And so I bought her Storytellers Volume 1 class solely for documenting our boat adventures. And have I started? No. So that is one of my goals for 2022 is to get that caught up because I have winter and so we won't be doing boat adventures during the winter. So I'm hoping I can get all of our adventures uh, scrapbooked before spring hits and we will be off and running. So I have not started the class, but I really liked this layout I saw. Um, the scalloping reminded me of fish scales. <laughs> so it made me think of our boat, even though the photos I'm going to scrapbook are actually of the day we brought home the boat um, for the first time. So that's what we're gonna do. I already started ripping paper and I was like, oh yeah, I'm supposed to record this. Um, so that, I like that layout and I like the scallop. So we're just gonna do kind of a scrap lift. I'm gonna use, however, an oldie but goodie, my Creative Memories oval cutter. Um, and I've got the blue one, which will give me the smallest oval on the inside for my scallops. So I'll cut those and then cut them in half for the scallops. I, so I bought, um, with the Storytellers Volume 1 collection, it was suggested to do carefree. Uh, so I got everything that was suggested. And so I have all those goodies. I also have um, Heidi Swaps. I think she made this. Uh, I don't remember what she made this, what this is called. But it's a clear stamp set that she made for documenting things. And then I got these awesome. It's like the in-between words that you always need for things that you can never find the letters for because you use them for real words. Uh, yeah. Stamp set. And I could have swore I grabbed more things for the class, but maybe that was maybe that was it. Um, so yeah, I've got the project pad, I've got the six by eight pad, I've got tags, I've got ephemera, and I've got stickers. And the project pad comes with two sheets of stickers. So this is a paper that was in the project pad. I just ripped it uh, for my edges, and then I'm going to use a bunch of papers for my scallops. So let's get started. All right. First things first, glue the strips down. <laughs> so I'm going to just use um, the paper that's in the Storytellers chapters book. I'm not going to... What I like about this one that I picked, I picked this polka dot one to use first, is like the papers itself have like a linen look to them. They they're, seem very thin, but they're very durable. Um, Heidi says they're really good for stamping, which I'm excited. So I'm really excited to do the class. Um, I should have looked at the class though, uh, because she's going to have us do the cover and then a title page. And I just put, I sh I just put this, um, layout on the first page. So I might have to do a title page on the inside cover, which would not be the worst thing in the world. Uh, wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, except for, I think the title page is, um, this really cool cutout thing. So it's fine. It's fine. I can have us bringing the boat home and then a title page after that. That's why it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Anywho, enough of that. So what am I doing? My screen is so tiny. Oh, okay. So I matted my, I decided to just do the one photo because the one photo is my husband driving the boat. And I thought it would be a good intro for that and just having the date. And then the second layout or the second page is going to be the other photo, which is my son sitting in the boat. And I will have more journaling with that one is my decision. So, um, then I can talk about our feelings about it, how excited we were, et cetera, et cetera. What my husband did when he brought it home, that kind of thing. So this is just like, yeah. Um, the first page right away in the album, which is a really good page. Uh, my husband, we've been talking about getting a boat for years. And when we finally were like, we're financially able to, we can do this. I'm so glad we did too. We did so many fun things and had so much fun on the boat this year. It was, we are definitely lake people. We are lake people. We should be living on a lake and said we live in the middle of a tiny town, but we have lakes all around us. So that's what's, what's awesome. And we um, caught a bunch of different fish and we, went to a bunch of different lakes. We definitely have our favorite. So it's kind of fun. 
So what uh, you just saw me doing there was realizing that my self-healing mat, or it's not a self-healing mat, my media mat, um, cannot withstand cutting apparently. Duh. I can't believe I just started cutting on it with my blade when I was trimming down the papers. And then I just started cutting on it with my circle trimmer. So I cut all of it out, but I ended up having to trim <laughs> my mat down, which is fine. Now it's like 13 by 13. So it's a little more like what I wanted. I like having it on my glass mat because one, it's like that sticky, it's a media mat. So it's got like that. It's basically, I think the same kind of vinyl-y fabric material that comes on like the Tim Holtz glass mat that you put on the side over like on the right hand side or the left hand side. I think it's the very same material. Um, but yeah, you can't cut it with a blade. Uh, you will cut holes in it. And that is what I did. And I just can't believe I did this. So stupid. Um, <laughs> so I like having it though because it's I can set paper and stuff down and it doesn't move. Like it doesn't just slide across the glass. And it cuts down the glare on my photos because right or on my filming because right in the center there I would have the glare from my light. So it's fine as long as it's still that size. I just can't believe. And which is good too because now I'm going to have a little more space um, to do like media or mixed media or whatever on the glass part, whatever. I just can't believe I did that. So right now I'm showing you, so I did some of it off camera and I'm showing you, uh, finishing it up the scallops. So these ovals, I just cut in half after I cut all of them with my, um, creative memories oval cutter. I am just laying them down. I'm doing different rows. I'm doing row, row of three, row of two, row of three, row of two. More like fish scales, how they overlap or mermaid scales. Um, and then I'm stitching them actually down the top is getting stitched down the top of each row. So I'm taking it to my sewing machine, stitching it down. So I'm showing you some of that there. And then on the back, I'm washing taping it. And then I will take a different pattern paper and actually put it all across the back because that page will be coming up. You'll see that on um, Stretch the Sketch, actually, is going to be that page. And that'll be the picture of my son and a bunch of journaling. So that'll be um, on that layout coming up, which is awesome. And yeah. So I'm just finishing that up, getting the rest of the scales or the half ovals on my page. I use some of the animal print just because meh, I'm not a big fan of it, but it goes well. Um, the colors are really nice. They're neutral. It doesn't really just like scream animal print, especially on here. I want to have it mixed in like that. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really I'm liking it. I'm digging it. Now what am I doing? Oh, I'm finishing up. So I wanted to make sure um, I had it go all the way to the top and there wasn't a weird gap too. So I made sure to put like a, it's like a half of a row at the very, very top and stitched it down again, just because I wanted to make sure the scallops went all the way up. Yeah. Am I still flutzing with that? Oh, I'm doing the washi taping. Okay. And I'm cutting off the excess. And all the strings. Okay, okay, okay. And I love this book that you can like lay it flat. You can fold it like any way you want. Oh yeah, and then here I'm going to just glue. I'm gonna put tons of ATG down and just add this um, kind of peachy colored uh, paper from the paper pad on that other side and that's going to be the total background of that which was a very interesting color to pick um but I kind of just picked the first one I saw and I figured I could go with it I, I'll make it work I'm not sure <laughs> maybe we'll do some stamping or stenciling or something I don't know but now I'm trimming that down off that I can't believe I kept all this in here okay hop to it Jackie now what are we doing Okay, I have the date written down so I know what date I want to stamp. I'm going to end up using her magnetic um, date stamp that has like the optional like 
they almost look like seals is what it reminds me of like like letter seals but it has like an optional like thing to stamp around it but i'm not going to use the thing to go around it. i'm just going to use the date stamp to date the, uh, to stamp the date underneath the title and i'm just grabbing a label on one of these stickers that says nothing but smiles because it was a very happy happy day for everybody uh when we brought the boat home so that's going to go down in that right hand area um, just like in the um, that the inspiration layout um, and I'm gonna look through all the things because I hadn't even touched carefree since I bought this like with the sole purpose to do this and I hadn't even touched it yet um, so yeah I'm working on that I'm looking through all those things. I end up grabbing some of these heart stickers. I grab an XOXO and put that up by um, the photo. I'll put a dream big um, down in the corner of the photo. And then I love my life is like a little tab. And then off camera, I'm going to add some um, vintage Nouveau drops in bottle. So it's like a matte green, just like the green that's in that paper. And in like one little heart. And it's just the perfect matte green. But that's it. So no journaling on this page, but I will add tons on the next page, um, which you'll see for Stretch the Sketch. So make sure you tune in and watch that. That is always the third Sunday. So that will be on the 16th. I will have that. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check out everybody else who is playing off the board with pineapple papers, especially Miss Pineapple Papers herself, Crystal Barrett. Make sure you check her out. I thank her for allowing us to play along with this, and we'll see you next time. Bye.